Okay, we're going to do a video hack to a Panasonic F3. It's a nice little camera. does a really good job. Good flash. Um, small camera. does a really nice job. We're going to get the video hack done on this. I'm going to start by taking the screw out. The screws, the screws out, I'm sorry. Um, there's one above the strap holder. down from it. Tripod holder. And two on the other side. And we're going to take it apart, pull it back off. Oops. So you got to be careful because it is hooked on. I'm going to pull these LCD up and out of the way. It's a little hard to get a hold of it. I'm going to take the LCD holder off. You can take the uh, LCD off if you want. I'm not going to. This isn't a bad hack. I don't have to take it all off. This is where I want to get to. Right in here. And this is what I want to hack into. These three and your positive and negative. So it's one, two, th one, two, three, positive, negative. Okay, I'm going to do the externals first. Um, they're marked positive and negative, so it's kind of hard to mess this part up. Um, so we're going to tin our wire. And we're going to lay it right down there. That's set. And that's our negative to the right. Now we want to hook up our positive wire. And like I said, these are marked on the camera, so it's got a positive. Right there. So there are my externals done. And now I gotta do my shutter and power. Okay, I'm going to solder the shutter wire on, and from the right, it's the fourth solder point from the right to the left. So... My common from the right to the left uh, on, this, on the solder points there is common for the first post. Second post to the left is shutter, or I'm sorry, power, and the fourth one would be shutter. And like I said, my power from the right to the left is the second one. All right, here we go. Now I got my common. I'm going to put a separate common in. I 
haven't tried it, but you probably could use a common for the power. Um, I'm just going to keep them separated for this build so that people can understand it's just a way to you know, separate the hacks so, so the so the column is going to be from the right first one to the left There, I got my wires hacked. Max, my camera's hacked, so we're going to start putting back together. Okay, for us to put this back together, I'm going to bring this LCD back. I'm going to go underneath the LCD because I want to come out the bottom. And I want to come down to about here. And I can clip myself a spot there to do this. Okay, I put a piece of tape over this section um, right here. It's where the capacitor is. You can drain the capacitor. I can't find my resistor to do it. Um, but I'm going to chip out. Now be careful not to cut these wires. I'm going to cut a little chamfer here right next to the tripod to run my wires out of. And I'm going to start tucking my wires in there and I'll have to drill my front cover so they can come out of here. And I need to get them through here. And I run the wires about half the battle. I like to use uh, fairly small wires. These are uh, 30 gauge wires to uh, so I can get them underneath the uh, LCD cover or I'm sorry not cover but LCD mounting bracket. What I'm trying to do is I don't want the wires going to top each other because it makes it bigger. So now I'm trying just to I can hold them down with a piece of tape. And that's what I'm heading for is that little chamfer I took out of there. Now I want to put like I said I want to put that holder back on. You do got to be careful. That's one reason. I'll just leave that tape in there. And I put my screws back in. And it's a challenge to keep the wires where they're supposed to be. And of course I don't want to. So I'm going to throw another piece of tape just to hold them there. Because every time I put that on there, it wants to shift. And I use electrical tape. I don't recommend using anything other than that. So let's try this again. I covered my holes. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're going to peel you back and we'll trim that one.
There we go. Let's try this again. I get my wire, get my screws back in. There we go. I can put my LCD back over. Now I'm going to have to modify my back cover, so I'm going to figure out where I need to to grind. I don't think I'm going to grind. I'm just going to. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut that piece out. You can run your wires anywhere you want. You can run them out the top. Or whatever works for you. I like the bottom because I always have my board at the bottom. I'm going to put my cover back on. Snapper top. There it went. Make sure my wires aren't being pinched. And okay, we're gonna put our screws back in. Um, Remember the one above the strap holder? Reverse of what we took out. I'll put these in. Okay, and there's our hack. Now we're going to test it here. Okay, we're going to, I put the battery and chip in, and we're going to test the hack. And what I want to do is, um, bring my power on. So, to get this camera power, this is different than a, a Sony. We're going to tie the power and the common together. And our camera's going to power on and stay on. So we're going to keep it tied together. Then we're going to take our shutter wire and touch it. We should tie it fire a picture. I don't know if you guys saw that. Shutter picture. And that's how I did. I had the, the power and common together. And I can shutter a picture just by touching that with the uh, shutter wire. Uh, this concludes the hack for a a Panasonic F3. This is a quick camera. Does a great job. Pictures are nice. Good night photos. Um, nice camera. Uh, was it 12? 12, 12 megapixel. I uh, hope this helps.